Hello my angels, welcome back to Vlogmas and this vlog is going to be an extremely special one. Today is our annual family Christmas shopping trip and we always end it with the ballet at the Royal Opera House. It is going to be incredible and it truly is one of my favourite days of the entire year. So we are just outside Harrods, we're starting as we mean to go on, we've got lots of Christmas presents to get, including mine. So let's do this. Here are the troops. Are you ready for today? Absolutely. Oh, I can't wait. Let's get shopping. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait. First things first, we're off to get coffee because someone decided to go out out last night with his male friends Wasn't and get me. utterly legless and now he's hung over on our annual shopping trip so do you want that calls for it calls Stop for me. more christmas presents for me <laughs> punishment <laughs> Okay, so sadly coffee was not an option because we cannot take it on the go and we are on the go today. So we are first stop heading to Guerlain and as a little tradition, my mum always buys me the Rose Cherry. It is actually exclusive to Harrods and it is my iconic scent. So let's go and see if we can pick it up. So you guys know that I love to keep family traditions and my grandmother was absolutely obsessed with Guerlain. So much so that whenever she looked after me, she'd always give me a bath before I was allowed to play in her house and the soap was Guerlain. So whenever I smell it, it reminds me when I was a little girl and it takes me back. And yes, I know my grandma was utterly ridiculous, <laughs> but so glamorous. And how stunning are these bumblebee bottles? They are cold and collector's pieces. Look at how beautiful this gift wrapping is. This is absolutely stunning. Oh, the green bow is beautiful. So they have the incredible service where you can actually pick your bottle and also pick your lid. So this incredible woman said, if you're a Leo, you can pick the lion's head. And I said, how on earth did you know? <laughs> she just sensed it, we're Leos together. Leos together, look at how gorgeous that is. It's such an incredible service here in Guerlain and you can really make it bespoke to your own. The bumblebees is literally the must have, a little bit spenny, but something that you will have forever. So this is the Rose Sherry. So if anybody normally asks me what I'm wearing, it is normally always Rose Sherry. But you all know me, I absolutely adore fragrances. So I do have a few, but this is definitely the one that I wear most frequently. And I just think it is so gorgeous. Look at this gift wrapping. It is absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. It's amazing. <laughs> just in Tom Ford and just trying out some new lip glosses. Mummy swears by the Tom Ford lipstick and so I thought I'd come in here and give it a go. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Marcus is in Tom Ford. Do you want a little bit of lip gloss, baby? Yeah. Any lip gloss? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> So he couldn't be left out at Tom Ford, so he's picked some, um, oud some oud wood, as Mark calls it, some aftershave, which we're dying. So Mark, what scent did you go for? Oud wood. <laughs> oud wood. <laughs> I don't think so. that's what Tom thought when he called it uh, oud wood. <laughs> we are getting through this. Now getting perfumes and fragrances for everybody. My brother absolutely adores Roger Dove. So I'm gonna pick him up a beautiful aftershave. Look at these bottles. They are so stunning. We are doing well. We are ticking things off the list. Now we're doing Marcus. Hermes. So he is looking for a belt and a bracelet. So let's see if we can we can find the ones he wants. We 
are just in Rouveton and I'm going to look at my dream bag. So I do actually have two cappuccinos, which you have seen so much on my YouTube channel, but this is just that touch different and it is absolutely beautiful. They've got the little flower emblems at the front and at the back. And what is the significance of the little flowers at the top? Uh, this is small bridge okay. between uh, what connects our workshops as near to Paris. Oh my so goodness. that small bridge has burned down because of a fire back in a uh, long time ago. So as a gesture of a good will, uh, the Louvre Tom and then start giving the clients who have been patiently waiting the outside of pieces, uh, oh orders, and full of bouquets, bouquets flowers, of flowers. With a small trunk as a gesture of good. And a small trunk, my goodness, what was I doing? Where was I when everybody was getting free trunks? <laughs> Amazing, and so that is why they are now on the tops of the bags. But it's such a, it's just a classic piece that you will have for a lifetime. And I do have the mini black, and I have the beige one. But this one with the flowers is just that little touch different, and is so beautiful. So we actually came for this, which is the matching wallet to my handbag. I've been going around with a card holder and it doesn't put any of my receipts and so I've been losing receipts. My husband is getting very ticked off with me. So I've come to buy the matching wallet, which is just so classic, so classy and absolutely beautiful. In the cabbie and on the way to Fortnum's, we are in need of the champagne marmalade. We also need to get Got the blinis. <laughs> Got the blinis. Divine. And then we also need to get the Christmas crackers. Got the chocolates. Got the chocolates. Ladderack. My absolute phase. We also need to get the Florentines. Yes. Definitely need the Florentines. Marcus, what are your favourites from Fortnum Mason? Champagne marmalade. Oh, the champagne marmalade on freshly baked sourdough. Um, <gasps> crackers, we've got to get crackers. Got to get the crackers. And we've got to get um, nice chutneys. They do fabulous chutneys. Creams for oh, mummy. The chocolate. Yes. Exactly. Well, okay. it is the most divine day. So we've got to hit Fortnum Mason hard and quick and then we are heading to Balthazar for dinner for our pre-ballet dinner we're meeting daddy he's actually on German Street already um, buying gifts for the boys so he always does Alistair and Cameron and then we are meeting Cami and Venera at Balthazar along with daddy and we're literally having the most heavenly family day in London and then we're gonna go all together to watch the ballet at the Royal Opera House and we're we're not just watching any ballet. We are watching the one, the only, the Nutcracker. I cannot wait. It is going to be incredible. And of course, I'm gonna be taking you with me. I don't 100% know the protocol in terms of cameras. I can imagine they're pretty strict. So I will try my very best. But of course, we've got a fair few hours before going there. And I can tell you what, I could murder a glass of champagne. And you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. up with John we are dropping the bags and we are on Bury Street and then we are going to make the short walk across oh just by my favorite restaurant of all time Wilton's and head into Fortnum's in they go in they go German Street is definitely one of my favorite streets in London not only has it got Fortnum and Mason on it but it's also got Piccadilly Arcade and there are the most amazing shops as well as Deacon and Francis, our family jewelers and how beautiful is that? decorations are up. Oh, it looks busy. Look at all the glittering Christmas trees. This is so beautiful. We are heading up to the home entertainment first to get the crackers first and then we'll head back down to get the jams, the marmalades and all the tea next just because it's quite heavy. Here we go. 
So for those of you who love Mackenzie Charles just as much as I do, this is what they have. Oh my goodness, Mr. P. He's gorgeous. Also, look at the reindeer, mummy. Oh, I know. Look at the pig. He's so cute. Oh no, mum, look at the reindeer. Oh my goodness, I think we're gonna be in trouble here. We're most certainly going to be in trouble. Oh, how sweet are these decorations? Just absolutely beautiful. We have found our crackers for this year and how magnificent are they? They're just so, so stunning. But I've also found my wrapping paper for this year. Have you ever seen anything quite so sweet? I don't know how many sheets they have, but I think I might have to have them all. Oh yes. Oh yes. Is it horrifically expensive though? It looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we're downstairs and we're getting all of the jams, the marmalades, all the chocolates. Oh, sorry. Look at those. <gasps> Dark chocolate with whiskey and ginger. Oh, yes, please. Here we go. Where is it? Okay, that's the orange marmalade. No, it is. Sorry. Sorry. The orange champagne orange marmalade. Where are you? So this is the table, but they have sadly sold out, but he thinks there might be a couple in the back. So this wonderful gentleman has gone to go and take a look, but this is it. So it's the Orange and Fortnum's Champagne Marmalade. It is absolutely delicious. I literally, I could not recommend it enough. It is absolutely scrumptious. Gosh, it's very busy in here, but I'm off to find the Chocolossus biscuits. If you like biscuits and chocolate biscuits, then the Chocolossus is for you. It is, oh, they are just incredible. So, they come, here it is. Also, the most magnificent tin you have ever seen, and they are like coated thick in chocolate and they've got this sort of like really crunchy yet soft sweet inside and they do ginger they obviously do the triple chocolate they do violet they do dark chocolate macaroon so many options so they do the pistachio and clotted cream they've got the chocolate with macadamia they've got ginger the violet just so many and they are absolutely phenomenal look at the christmas puddings they are all moving. That is amazing. I've officially given up in Fortnum's. It is shoulder to shoulder in there. So, I first up with Daddy. We are in Franco's on German Street for a little bit of substance. I am dying for a glass of champagne and I could murder an olive or two. I need some nuts to keep going with the Christmas shopping. What have we done? Who have we bought for? Good, we've done everything we needed. Uncle Tone, done. Cammy, done. I've got one more brother to go and we are done. And then we're doing Mark tomorrow. <laughs> Just looking at the cocktails and they have a Negroni Roger. Daddy, I think you're gonna have to have one of those just to try it. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy Christmas shopping, Mama. Cheers. Cheers. Um. <sighs> okay, now we've had the champagne, we're ready to tackle Caviar Prunier House. It is the last job before we go to dinner. We need to secure the caviar for Christmas Eve. Another one of our family traditions that we love doing. It's very spoily, it's ridiculously over the top. Right, let's get going. Here we go. Oh, right, get into Caviar Prunier House. Oh, let's get this gorgeous caviar. How divine. The caviar is secured. <laughs> Gosh, mommy and I are so naughty after yes. a couple of glasses of champagne. Anywho, I can resist everything but temptation. <laughs> which is rather a lot let me tell you so we are now off to balthazar it's about a 10 minute journey and then oh my goodness me the food there <gasps> chef's kiss cannot wait i'm gonna turn this camera around yeah mommy is doing a quick change i'm gonna pop on some stilettos but look at these christmas lights they are magnificent 
And just like that, she's got her red blazer on, she's got her ballet pumps on, and she's right ready for the nutcracker. Mummy is looking so festive, almost like Mother Claus. So can you talk me through the outfit? Well, it had to be done for the nutcracker. Had to be done, had to be done. Gorgeous vintage Molo jacket. Vintage Molo, vintage Miss Dior bag. I've tried to pinch this a million times. Gorgeous trousers and then beautiful little embellished boots. Beautiful, Mama. Well, we're outside the Balthazar, so let's head in. fabulous table thank you so much so we have one of their booth tables overlooking the whole restaurant it is one of our favorite tables it is just so gorgeous so many memories made so divine here's daddy what do you think nice table. gorgeous table a bellini and then we also ordered the mac and cheese with truffle gosh this looks insane we have just finished dinner it was absolutely scrum didiotious it is all happening in london this evening and it is a short hop and a skip up to the royal opera house so we're just taking a little stroll it's literally just up there where the oh where's my hand going there <laughs> where the red flags are marcus is here how was dinner delicious it was so good i just love the vibe there don't you yeah, no, Amazing. it's so fuzzy and it's just not too serious which is lovely so divine i mean you can yeah. dine actually in the royal opera house itself but we always find it's quite um rah rah and a little bit corporate if truth be known anyway we are literally just walking outside it is the most magnificent building let's go in and experience the nutcracker because let me tell you it is a truly special one. 
here we go. It is Cami and Veneera's first time at the Royal Opera House. <gasps> Look at this. It is so magical. Oh my goodness gracious me. Every single time I come back here, it literally takes my breath away. Oh my gosh. Whilst it's relatively quiet, let's go down and take a look at the orchestra. They are just beginning to warm up, which is always such a lovely time to arrive. Oh my gosh. Can you hear somebody tuning something? Oh wow. We are now in the interval that was absolutely magical and just so beautiful. I have no words to explain it. We've now just come up to the Verve Clico. We're going to have a glass of champagne and a bottle of wine for the boys. You need to find the S. You need to find the S, right. That's D. Let's keep going round. Here we go, we've found us. We've got a lovely bottle of white wine, fabulous, and I'm on a hunt for a glass of champagne. Time to go back in. Oh, I can't wait. We are back and ready for the second act. Oh my goodness, the Royal Opera House inside here is something out of a fairy tale. The detail and the intricacy of the gold and the cornicing and just the red ropes, the velvet curtains. It is truly just absolutely breathtaking and magical. sensational evening every single second of it is so special I truly couldn't recommend it enough the music is so moving it will bring you to tears every single hair on your body will be standing to attention really some spine tingling stuff and the dances were just phenomenal it has been a night of dreams anyway we are just now walking back down to find John and we are going to be heading home. Days like today are like red letter days, aren't they, mummy? Making memories. What a building. So as I said, this is the Royal Opera House. It is such a special building, every single thing about it. And the history behind this building is just mind-blowing. Oh, what a night.